Welcome back. So I don't want you guys to feel that get all will be too easy, but let's, let's just start off making the easy solution right here and then I'll make it more complex because I don't want you guys to get lazy and stop learning. So first of all, the easy solution is right here. I'll do the fake DB, right? And I'll do the customers. Now we have the customers. Happy days. But the problem is that I actually also open the vulnerability because now whoever uses the get all actually have direct access to the database, right? Because the customer there is actually the real list that's a static list stored in memory. So now anybody who has this list of customers can now start actually deleting and adding customers from outside our program. That's not good. So what I want to do is I want to wrap this and I want to kind of mitigate this one. Um, I want to make a copy of it instead of send that to the guys who asked for the list. So the way I do that is I can actually just add a new list here. Now we could start talking about cloning and deep cloning and stuff like that, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to make a simple copy of the actual list as it is right here inside uh, our fake database. So now I'm actually making a new list and copying every customer in that new list, sending that to whoever wants the database. So I'm pretty much just making a list that's in another location in memory so that if you want to change this, you can do it, but it will be on your own local list that you just grab right here. It won't be in the real database. That will make sense as soon as long as we work with generic lists. We'll change that later as we start working with a real database. But just to make it a bit more complex for actually getting all, try and do this. Try and instead of just getting the list clean as it is and giving opening up for vulnerability where the UI now can start grabbing and manipulating our real database, wrap it inside a new list and actually copy every item from the old list into the new list using this function right here. And it's pretty simple. I'm just creating a new customer list and sending in the actual list as a parameter. And then behind the scenes, it'll automatically populate the new list with the uh, customers from the old list. So that's how we can do a get all out of the way. Yay! Let's go to the update. See you next time.